Hey guys, I'm GamerMate and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm here back inside Roblox Studio and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own game pass store inside Roblox. So the first thing you need to do is actually add in our door. If you already have a door then you can skip ahead until we start scripting. But if you don't have a door, what you need to do is add in a part, make sure it's anchored, then we can start customising it. So I'm just going to be changing the colour and transparency. Then I'm also going to be renaming this door to Game Pass Door. And then the last thing I'm going to be doing is adding a surface GUI. You don't have to do this, but it just makes the door look better. So click plus, surface GUI, and then text label. Then if you change size to 1, comma 0, comma 1, comma 0, like that. Change the background transparency. And then make sure text is scaled. Then I'm just going to be changing the font and text. Okay, so now once we have your door, we can click start a player, click the arrow, then start to play a script, click plus, add in a local script. Then we can rename this script to Game Pass Door Script. Like that. Then what we can type in is local player equals game dot players dot local player. Then local Game Pass ID equals to and then your Game Pass ID number. Then once we do that, we can go down twice and type in if game get service, and then market place service. At service brackets, we can type in colon user owes game pass a sync, two brackets, and then player dot user ID, comma, and then we can type in game pass ID like this. Now size brackets, we can type in equals equals true. Then go down, a new end should appear. But all we need to do is type in game dot workspace dot game pass door dot can collide equals to false. So what this does, it makes it so the game pass door is can collide off, so players can actually walk through it if they own the game pass. Then that's basically it, but I'm just going to add in one more line, which is game dot workspace dot game pass door dot transparency equals 0.5. So all this does it makes it so the part is actually more see-through if you actually own the game pass. So this should be your script done. So you can just pause it if you want to write it out. Then close it off. Click play here. Then once you load in. Because I own this game pass, then you can see that it's uh, slightly see-through and we can actually walk through it because I own the game pass. But if we click stop, change the game pass ID to something that I don't own, test it out again, then because I don't own this game pass ID, then I can't actually walk through it. So you can see that it actually goes back to the default transparency and can collide is on so we can't walk through it. And that's going to be it for today's video. If this video helped, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. In the description you can check out my Roblox group and Discord server. And I'll see you later. Bye!